One day, Emma went to her best friend Taylor's house crying. When Taylor、uh -oh. asked what was wrong, Emma showed her the photo her boyfriend Andrew sent her from his solo hiking trip and yelled, "He's cheating on me!" Take a look at the image and tell me how did she know? In the first photo from the kitchen of his Airbnb, there's a glass on the table with a lipstick mark. And in the second photo from the bathroom, see these slippers in front of the bathtub? These are slippers only a woman can wear. <laughs> the local movie theater was doing a special Valentine's Day rom-com movie marathon, and they were doing a discount on the tickets for couples. However. The theater owner realized people were taking advantage of the offer by pretending to be couples. Take a look at these three couples standing in front of the ticket line. Can you help the owner figure out which two people are indeed partners? The second couple might not be holding hands and looking couple like the others, but. Take a look at their ankles. They have tiny matching tattoos. They must indeed be committed partners. <laughs> Now, take a look at these people watching a movie in another movie theater. There is only one real couple here. Can you tell who? Everyone's hands are everywhere, right? But if you look carefully, you'll see that this guy is not holding hands with anyone. He's just stealing popcorn from the lady sitting next to him, and this lady is trying to grab this guy's drink. See these people sitting on the right end of the front row? They might be sitting close to each other, but the guy is holding hands with this other lady, so they must be the real couple. Sarah has a crush on several guys at her college. One of them might be her soulmate, but first she has to find out if they're single. There are some photos of them with their partners or siblings, and she needs to guess who is who. Can you help her figure out the single guys? Look at the first photo. Crush number one, James, is hugging two girls tightly. The first girl has the same birthmark on her cheek as he does, so they might be siblings. The second girl is wearing a matching outfit, and she's holding his hand, so she is his girlfriend. Now let's investigate the second photo. Crush number two, Reggie, might look like he's hugging this girl, but he's holding his hands in the air, not touching her body. This indicates they're not in a romantic relationship. The second girl is hugging him, but she's holding another guy's hand who is not in the photo. That means she has a boyfriend, and Reggie is single. And lastly, Daniel, crush number three in the last image, is hugging a girl, but they both have friendship bracelets, so they're best friends. The second girl in the image looks grumpy. Daniel is pinching her cheek, which can only mean they must be siblings. It seems that Daniel is single as well. Ken is going on a blind date, but the only thing he knows about the girl whom she will meet is that she will be wearing a scarf with stripes. When he arrives at the restaurant they agreed to meet at, he sees three different ladies, all wearing scarves with stripes. Can you help him find out who his blind date is? The lady in the yellow dress already ordered her food and started eating. That means she wasn't going to meet anyone. The same goes for the lady in the red dress as well. It would be rude of her to enjoy tea if she was expecting anyone to join her. So, Ken's date must be the lady in the blue dress, waiting with two empty cups in front of her. <laughs> Ella is waiting for her date. Take a look at these three guys across the street. Can you tell who her date is?
Ella is holding a bucket of popcorn, so she must have a movie date. Now, take a look at the shirt pocket of the first guy. He has two movie tickets in there, so he must be the one going on a date with Ella. Gotcha! <laughs> you were chosen as a contestant for the local channel's Valentine's Day themed quiz show. On the day of the show, you successfully made it to the final question. If you answer it correctly, you're going to win the $50,000 prize. The host invites three men, Jack, Robert, and Michael, and three women, Jane, Carol, and Lily, to the stage. Then he says, I'm going to give you three facts about these people here, and I want you to tell me who the couples are. The first fact is, hmm. Jane's sister is married to Michael. The second fact is Jack has never met Lily. And the third fact is Lily is an only child. Can you win the uh -oh. grand prize? Jack is married to Jane, Robert to Lily, and Michael to Carol. Sophie received an anonymous letter in her locker that said, Roses are red, violets are blue. Meet me here tonight if you love me too. The only uh -oh. thing is, she didn't know who it was from because they forgot to sign it. Three classmates had been near her locker during the lunch break. Can you help her figure out who wrote the note? Take a look at Ethan's hands. They're covered with glitter, which matches the glitter hearts on the letter. So he must be the one who wrote it. <laughs> Richard wanted to get a special anniversary gift for his wife, Rachel. He decided to check her wish list to pick something from there. The list included the first edition of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, a pearl necklace, and a luxury handbag. Uh -oh. Which one should he pick as his gift? Take a look around the room. The first edition of Pride and Prejudice is already among the other books in Rachel's bookcase. The same goes for the pearl necklace. It's right here around the neck of the statue. So, since she already bought the first two items, Richard should get the luxury handbag. During her honeymoon, Jenny lost her matching gold wedding ring by the poolside. Oh, no. Her husband, Tristan, thought it was actually stolen and he was suspicious of these three people. Can you tell which one stole the ring? The first lady is wearing a wedding ring on a chain around their neck, but it has a diamond on it. And since Jenny's ring needs to match Tristan's ring, which has no diamonds, that's not hers. The second man has several gold rings on his fingers, but none of them can belong to Jenny since they're all too large for her fingers. So, it's the third lady oh, who no. stole the ring. See the silver-colored spray paint cans on her dress? She tried to disguise Jenny's golden ring by painting it silver, and she didn't even do a good job on that. Keith was working at the Cupid's Arrow booth at the carnival. There were three guys who all wanted to try their chances at winning the giant teddy bear prize. Unfortunately, they all took a shot with their arrows once Keith's attention was elsewhere. One arrow did hit the bullseye, but all three contestants were claiming it was theirs. Can you help Keith determine the true winner? Take a look at the second guy's backpack on the ground. It says National Archery Team on it. That means he must be the actual archer. So it's likely that he's the real winner. <laughs> Tom planned a surprise for his uh -oh. girlfriend, Kelly. When she arrived at the address where they were supposed to meet, she saw three different stores side by side. A jewelry store, a chocolate shop, and a florist. 
Where do you think Tom is waiting for her? Take a look at the display window of the chocolate shop. Among the chocolate letters, you can find the word surprise. So that's where Tom is. Molly invites her best friends over for dinner. Rose, Bianca, Tom, and Stan. Everything goes great. But in the middle of the night, Molly notices that one of her books is missing. This item is very special. Molly hides all her cash in this book, and she has never told anyone about it. Molly questions her friends, but each swears to have nothing to do with the theft. Can you help Molly spot the thief? It's Tom. He's sitting on the stolen book. Detective Tina has received multiple cyber fraud reports this week. People complain that all the money went missing from their bank accounts. Detective Tina heads out to investigate this case. She meets with three robbed witnesses and asks them to show her their phones. She expects to find some kind of bug or an app. What do they have in common? All of them have the same app. Bella is visiting India. She leaves her bags in the hotel and goes to explore the local market. Suddenly, a stranger approaches her and offers to buy some gifts. Madame, I inherited these treasures from my ancestors. They're thousands of years old. Bella gets very excited. She loves rare souvenirs. Bella studies these items carefully and gets furious. You're a fraud! How did she know? Take a look at this statue. He's wearing headphones. This golden dish has an engraving, made in 2002. So it can't be thousands of years old either. And now, take a closer look at the necklace. It consists of US one-cent coins. Back then, no one knew what they looked like. Chelsea is riding a scooter in her favorite park. Suddenly, someone throws an apple at her back and she falls. Chelsea looks around and finds three suspects. She decides to question them. Glenda says, I was just feeding this cute little squirrel and taking pictures. Brittany says, I just sunbathed on the grass and read a book. I didn't even look your way. And Sergey says, I filmed a podcast for my followers, so I didn't look around. Maybe the apple just fell from this tree by accident. One of them is guilty. Can you guess who? Chelsea got hit by a red apple with a yellow price tag. But the apple tree, mentioned by Sergey, only has green apples. Meanwhile, Brittany has a bunch of red apples in her bag, and they have similar yellow tags. Uh-oh, busted. Will goes to the restaurant with his friends, Mike, Crystal, and Alex. He orders his favorite cheesecake. He grabs and eats one strawberry from the top of the cake and then remembers, Oh no, I didn't wash my hands. Can you guys please look after my dessert? After a while, he returns and finds out that his plate is missing. Will questions his friends. Mike says, Sorry, I received an urgent call from work and went outside. Crystal said, Your cake looks so delicious that I ordered my own. I didn't see what happened because I also went to wash my hands. And Alex says, Sorry, I left the table to get this lady's number. I think she's my soulmate. Who took Will's cake? Take a look at Crystal's plate. 
the very same strawberry that Will took from his cake is missing. So it's probably his dessert, and Crystal is a liar. Someone drew a pentagram on the floor in the principal's office. Can you guess who tried to curse him? It's the janitor. There's a pain stain on his uniform, and similar symbols can be found on his cap. A pop group is traveling by high-speed train. They're going to a big concert in another country. Everything is going great, but suddenly, the lights go out. Someone's moving around in the dark, and everyone hears a woman screaming. Finally, the lights turn on again, but one of the singers, Kelly, is missing. The local conductor finds her phone on the floor and questions the witnesses. Jill says, I was at the other end of the car, and then it got so dark, I don't know what happened. Sam says, Kelly was next to me, we talked, and then she disappeared. And Paul says, I felt sick, so I sat down and closed my eyes. I heard something, but I didn't see anything. Who's lying? Jill. She said she was at the other end of the car. Then why is her hair clip lying at the crime scene? Can you find 10 differences between these two pictures? Ready to see the answers? Here they are! What about these cute little plants? Can you see 10 differences between the two pictures? Time is up. I'll bet you failed to spot all 10. Here they are. What about these two images? Can you find 10 differences? Let's take a look at the answer. The police have long tracked Jake. They suspect him to be involved in diamond smuggling, but they don't have any evidence. They decide to thoroughly check his luggage. Jake comes to the airport with a small briefcase. What's suspicious about it? He uses an electric razor. Why does he need any shaving cream? The diamonds must be inside the tube. Billy takes his family to a safari park. Can you spot anything odd? Giraffes don't have horns, and lions don't wear glasses. What about this picture? Can you see what's wrong here? This flamingo is wearing fancy shoes, and the elephant has five legs. Oh my! Can you find the fastest tap by eye? The second one. Let's make the task a little harder. Here's a new set of taps. Can you guess the fastest? The 
first one. Which runner will score the goal? Only the third runner can make it to the final point. Here's the route he should choose. Can you find these five items in this picture? Here they are. What about this huge pile of things? Can you dig out these five items? Ready to see the answer? Over here. Can you find the right piece? Only the second one fits perfectly. Rob's wife decides to prank him and changes a six-number password on their safe. She leaves a clue so that Rob could crack the code. Can you help him? Take a closer look at the hint. There's an alphabet with four marked letters. But we know that the password consists of six numbers. To crack the code, we need to count each letter's position in the alphabet. A implies 1, E 5, J 10, and M 13. So the final code is 151013. Tilda is cooking a love potion. She found a recipe in an old spell book. But unfortunately, the last three ingredients are encoded. Here's a hint to crack the first one. I can sometimes be a stick, but I don't come from a tree. I can be spread on your toast. I'm a product that's dairy. Any idea what it could be? Butter. Or as they say in Brooklyn, butter. Here's a hint for a second ingredient. I can be small, I can be huge, and very hard to snatch. Carve me out, put in a candle, and light it with a match. What is it? It's a pumpkin. Hey, even I got that one. And now, let's try to decode the last ingredient. This thing comes as a small grain, but it's neither rice nor sand. It's often used when cooking, so that food doesn't taste bland. What might it be? The last ingredient for Tilda's love potion is NaCl. Oops, I meant salt. Lily gets an invitation to a wedding party. She comes along and sees three weird things right away. Can you spot them too? Take a closer look at the bride. There's a zombie hiding under her skirt. Also, there's planet Earth in the sky instead of the moon. And the clock is going counterclockwise. Well, that's all goofed up. Molly is chilling in her bathroom after a long working day. But can you see anything odd here? She's using a burger instead of a regular sponge. You want prize with that? A dog show competition is taking place in the town. A golden retriever named Toby wins gold. But after the contest, a janitor finds Toby lying unconscious backstage. Detective Tina arrives at the crime scene in 15 minutes. She asks the suspects just one question. What were you doing within the last 15 minutes? Harry, the owner of the rival Golden Retriever, says, I was brushing my dog. 
I wanted him to shine like a diamond at the contest. Sandra, the local photographer, says, I was taking pictures of the dogs and their owners. Mr. Frank, the judge, says, I was talking to the reporters. And the janitor, Frank, says, I found Toby and called 911 right away. And then I just left him with his owner and went to clean the toilets. Who's lying? Harry. Why would he need to prepare his dog's hair? The contest is over. Lisa breaks her nail and goes to a beauty salon to fix it. There, she meets three manicurists. One of them is an imposter. Can you guess who? It's the third lady. She's using a teaspoon instead of the regular manicure tools. Just another ordinary day in the office. But wait a minute. Can you see anything odd? The lamp doesn't have an electric cord. Hmm, what about this picture? Anything weird? This businessman is holding an artist's brush. Kyle is a policeman. He enters the local public laundromat after work. There, he sees a crying woman. She yells, Officer, please help me. Someone stole my clothes. It was my favorite suit. Kyle interrogates three suspects among the clients. Lisa says, I spent the last 30 minutes here, but I always watch movies on my tablet while waiting, so I didn't look around. Ryan says, I just arrived here to wash my own bed sheets. You can check my bags if you don't believe me. And finally, Nina says, I had a video call with my boyfriend while I was waiting for my laundry to dry. I didn't have the chance to look around. Who's lying? Lisa take a closer look. Her tablet is broken and shut down, so she couldn't have been watching a movie. Can you spot any ghosts in this picture? How about over here? What about this area? Can you spot any ghosts? Hello! Peter is a famous travel blogger. He gets an invitation to visit the fanciest secret beach in the world. But the map has a twist. Can you help Peter choose the right route? Only option B will bring him to the final destination. Look at this picture. Where is the bank robber hiding? He's over there, behind the bushes. The bank robber has managed to escape from the police. Try to figure out where he's hiding now. See that maintenance hole? That's where the criminal is. This robber is just too fast. He's escaped again and is now hiding in one of these fitting rooms. Help the police find him. He must be in the middle fitting room. See that bag with all the cash he's stolen? Look at this image attentively and try to figure out what's wrong here. (laughs) 
In reality, the guy is holding a tube of toothpaste in his left hand, but in the reflection in the mirror, he's got nothing in his hand. How about this picture? What's wrong here? Um, is this lady charging her cat? This picture looks off too, but what exactly seems strange? It's the girl in the front. She isn't reflected in the water. Now the next image to challenge your observation skills. Does anything strike you as odd in this picture? Look at the TVs. They show different things in reality and in the reflection in the mirror. Can you figure out what this means? Right you are! F plus arm equals farm. Now this one is a tiny bit tougher. What does this rebus mean? Storm? TH. It's thunderstorm. And how about this one? Can you crack it easily? Re plus boot equals reboot. Ew, insects! But can you guess this word? How many ants are there? 10. So the correct answer is 10 plus ants equals 10 ants. I have eight fingers and two thumbs, but I'm not alive. What am I? I'm a pair of gloves. Which person is different from the others? Right you are, this one with shorter hair. Try to figure out which emoji is the odd one. The one at the bottom. It looks pretty angry. I challenge you to find a cat that's different from the rest. Right! It's the one closer to the bottom, facing away from you. Which image is the odd one? This little rebel is turned in the opposite direction. Have you noticed anything wrong in this picture? The ball! They're playing soccer, not basketball! Which cow is different from the others? The one waving at you, of course! How about these burgers? Do any of them stand out? See, this burger is smaller than the rest. There's something wrong with this picture. What exactly? It's
It's the river. It seems to just disappear under the bridge. Is there a hole in the ground there? Which emoji is the odd one? The one with its mouth missing. There's something that doesn't seem quite right in this picture. But what? The rainbow. Its colors are a bit messed up. Can you find a pig among these birdies? Here it is, hiding behind the bush. Which emoji is different from the others? It's the unwinking one, with both of its eyes open. These smiley faces look so cool, all but one. This emoji isn't exactly all that smiley. There's something wrong with this keyboard. Can you figure out what exactly? There are two eights on it, but no nines. Which pooch is the odd one? This doggy seems to be friendlier than the rest. Find the odd avocado. Right, it's the one with the heart-shaped pit. Which emoji is different from the others? This little guy is just a wannabe. It isn't a unicorn. It's a horse that's probably dreaming of becoming a unicorn. Can you find the odd emoji? The one at the bottom seems to be even more in love than the rest. The hearts in its eyes are bigger than what other emojis have. One of these music notes is different. Which one? Ah, now I see it. What's wrong with this picture? The calendar claims it's August 2018, but the computer is sure it's still August 2017. Can you spot a teddy bear without a hat? Here it is! There's something strange about this picture, but what exactly? One of the birds doesn't have a reflection. Creepy. Which sheep couple is different from the others? This one, the lady sheep is facing away from her admirer. Amy was walking through a forest and saw three portals in front of her. Each could take her to a different place. The first one would send her to the moon. The second portal would move her to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. And the last one would take her 30,000 years back, when large dinosaurs were still roaming our planet. Uh -oh. Which portal should she choose to survive? The third one. 
dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. Amy will be safe there. John was looking for a gift for his mom at a shopping mall when he noticed that one of the stores had a mysterious extension. It led to a vault filled with diamonds and gold jewelry. As soon as the guy walked in, the store owner locked him in the room. He told John he had to eat one of the three cookies on the table and managed to get out of the room. Then he'll be rewarded generously. The first cookie would turn John into an animal. The second cookie would turn him into a giant. And the last one would make him invisible. Which cookie should John eat? The first one, he can turn into some small animal like a hamster and squeeze through the bars. That's how he'd get out and win the gold. Mr. Lawrence called the police. He said someone had taken his car for a joyride, crashed it into a streetlight, and ran away. The man was sure it had been one of his neighbors. The police questioned three of them. Ivy answered she'd been at work and arrived home only in the evening. Cameron told the police he'd been helping his dad remove old stuff from the attic. And Aaron claimed he'd been hanging out with his friends, eating pizza, and watching the latest series. After listening to all the suspects, the police officers arrested one of them. Who was it? It was Cameron. There's no attic in his house. He invented the whole story. Naomi invited her friends to a pajama party at her house. The only thing she asked the girls was, don't enter my brother's room. He loves playing tricks on people. And once you get there, you might not be able to get out. They were gossiping and watching viral TikTok videos when one of Naomi's friends asked, wait, where's Rebecca? Meanwhile, Rebecca went to the kitchen to drink some water, but she got lost and ended up in Naomi's brother's room. The door closed behind her back and it wouldn't open. The girl noticed a password lock with letters on it. Rebecca looked around and spotted a piece of paper on the table with five numbers on it. Three, seven, six, nine, two. The girl thought for a while, then entered a combination of letters and got out of the room. What was the password? The code was the first letters of the five numbers. T-S-S-N-T. An expensive ring went missing from a jewelry store on the first floor of a large shopping mall. The manager called the police. After watching the CCTV camera footage, they had three suspects, a student, a woman with a daughter, and an elderly man. The student said he had agreed to meet with his friend next to the jewelry store. I didn't even set foot inside, the woman said. I was at the movies with my daughter here in the mall when everything happened. The elderly man said, Yes, I did enter the store. I felt unwell and asked for a glass of water, but I didn't take the ring. Who's lying? Look, all the movies running at that time had a 16 plus age rating. The woman wouldn't have been able to watch any of them with her young daughter, so she must have lied. Time to check your attention and logical thinking skills. Do you have an eye for detail? Then you'll make a great detective. One day, you go to a restaurant to get something to eat. But as soon as you enter, you hear loud, angry voices. A waitress and a visitor are arguing. You also ordered chicken wings and you have to pay for this dish. It's the waitress. The visitor looks tired and sleepy. But I didn't. I haven't been here longer than an hour. Yeah, I did doze off, but it doesn't mean I don't remember my order. You step in. You know very well that this man couldn't have ordered chicken wings, you say. How did you figure it out? You noticed on the wall it says, The kitchen works till 1 p.m. It's 3 p.m. now. The man claims he's been here for an hour. It means he came after the kitchen had been closed and couldn't have ordered anything to eat. Nathan came to visit his friend, Zachary, who worked in a museum. Look what I've got! A priceless manuscript that was written more than a thousand years ago! Zachary looked through the manuscript and realized his friend had been fooled. 
Does anything in this text strike you as strange? If we talked about the dates before the Common Era, they should be in reverse order. The original text would read, King Alfred V ruled the country from 1320 to 1290 BCE. A man called the police late at night. He said, I've heard a very loud noise coming from the house next door. I'm afraid to go there alone. But what if something bad has happened? When the police arrived, they saw that the entrance door was open. They ran inside and found the house owner, Mr. Anderson, on the floor of his bedroom. He was tied and moaning in pain. He said he had been in bed reading a book, and then a man in a black mask broke into his room and hit him on the head. Then he tied Mr. Anderson, took all his money and other valuables, and disappeared. The police officers didn't believe the man. Why? Look at his bed. There isn't even a wrinkle on the covers. It's unlikely that the thief made the bed after tying Mr. Anderson. It can only mean the man is lying. Evelyn wants to visit one unusual restaurant, but to get there, one must know the password. The girl hides around the corner to figure it out. She sees a man come up to the security guard. The guard says, 12. The man answers, 6, and is allowed to come in. Then, a young woman approaches the security guard. He says, six, and she answers, three. Evelyn is sure she's figured out the pattern. She comes up to the security guard. He says, four. The girl answers, two, and isn't allowed to enter. Can you figure out why? The password is always different. It's the number of letters in the word the security guard says. The word four has four letters. That's what Evelyn should have answered. A manager of the most luxurious sea resort in the area called the police. She said someone had stolen a set of very expensive monogrammed bed linen. Three guests left the hotel that morning. Mr. Sam Taylor, Mrs. Amanda Martin, and Mr. Michael Smith. The police detained one of the guests and, indeed, found the bed linen in their suitcase. How did the detectives figure out who the thief was? As you can see, the hotel's name is The Morning Star. This means the monogram on the bed linen is MS. The only person with the same initials is Mr. Michael Smith so he can use the bed linen pretending to have ordered it with his monogram to show off. Two cars are driving through the city. They both started their journey at the same time. The green car is moving at a speed of 30 miles per hour. The yellow car is faster. Its speed is 50 miles per hour. And still, at one point, the green car comes across the yellow car. How is it possible? The cars are traveling in opposite directions. Aaron is a detective who has to work undercover at a luxurious yeah. resort. The police suspect that the hotel owners are involved in some shady deals. Aaron's task is to sneak into the manager's office and check his documents. But the door is locked uh -oh. and there's a combination lock. Aaron has to figure out the password. The detective knows he needs to solve a math riddle and the answer will be the code. As soon as he punches in the code, the door opens. What is the correct number? It's 30. There are no mathematical symbols at the end of the first and second lines. It means the whole thing looks like this. A very famous painting disappeared from a museum. Later, the police managed to find it. But there was a problem. They found not one, but uh -oh. three paintings. Only one of them is original. The others are just copies. Can you help the police figure out which is the original painting?
It's the one with the brown frame. Take a look. All frames in the museum are made in the same style. Now, you've got accepted to the best school of witchcraft and wizardry. One of the best classes you have to attend is about transforming into animals. There are three professors who teach this class. Each of them specializes in transforming into a certain animal. Look at your professors and try to figure out uh -oh. what kind of animal each of them turns into. Have you noticed that the first professor has a forked tongue? He must transform into a snake. The second professor has a lion's tail. It must be the animal she transforms into. And the third professor has bear claws. He must turn into a grizzly bear. Maria was a princess and the heir to the throne. One day, an evil witch lured the girl into a magic forest. Maria got lost. Luckily, she had an enchanted pendant given to her by one of the king's magicians. It will help you find your way back home if you ever get lost, he said. Maria tapped the pendant, and three spirits appeared in front of her. The first spirit was an owl, the second was a butterfly, and the third spirit was a hawk. Unfortunately, only one of them knew the way back to the castle. And if Maria chose to follow the wrong spirit, she would find herself even further away from home. Can you help the princess pick the correct spirit animal? Have you noticed the banners in the throne room? There was a butterfly on each of them. It means the butterfly is the official symbol of the kingdom. Maria should follow the butterfly spirit. A man lives in a high-rise apartment building. He has an unusual habit related to the evening elevator ride after he returns home from work. If it's been raining, he always takes the elevator straight to his 17th floor. If it's sunny, but there's someone else in the elevator with him, he always gets straight to the 17th floor. But if it hasn't been raining and he's alone in the elevator, he takes the elevator to the 11th floor and walks up the stairs the rest of the way. Can you figure out why? The man is very short. He can only reach the button for the 11th floor. If someone else is in the elevator, he asks them to press the button for his floor. And when it's rainy, he uses his umbrella to press the button. Johnny, a party clown, is carrying three pieces of gold. Each of these pieces weighs two pounds. While walking, the guy comes to a bridge. It has a sign saying the bridge can only hold a maximum of 180 pounds. Johnny weighs 176 pounds. Johnny reads the sign and still safely crosses the bridge with all the gold. How is it possible? Johnny is a clown, so he knows how to juggle. While walking across the bridge, he juggled the gold, keeping one piece in the air. <laughs>